Hey what's up guys Rajat from VFX World Welcome back to my channel Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine In this video I'll talk about something amazing inside of Cinema 4D So let's get started as I noticed that 75% people are not subscribing my channel but they come and watch my videos so I request to all of you when you are come and watch my videos please to subscribe and press the bell button to get notification whenever I'll update a new video now let's get back to the tutorial so guys right now we are in cinema 4d version r19 and before starting this tutorial I just want to tell you that this is a very very easy and simple tutorial so for this you need to install this plugin called hot 4d effect hot 4d is basically allowed to create oceans and that's look completely real and the detailed video will be coming soon on based on this hot 4d effect but if you really want this very fast then please do comment on this video comment section below so that i'll make a video on detail of this uh, hot 4d effect okay so let's jump into cinema 4d and now first of all we need to create any kind of primitive uh, so in this case i'm taking this one this platonic and uh, i'm just changing to this one to octa so it will become like this or else you can change in any other shapes but make sure the segment should be high in this case i'm increasing it to 215 and after that you have to apply that effect but before that i just want to show you this is a high dense mesh right now as you can see okay pretty nice and now what you have to do just uh, go to background shading mode and now from plugin you can find out this hot 4d effect just click here it will come like this and now drag and drop under this platonic one so now it will look like this okay so what you have to do you just have to select this hot 4d effect and where you can find this many amazing settings here and with the help of all the settings you can really achieve that output okay so uh, first of all this is called ocean resolution if you really increase this resolution you can exactly see the mesh is getting a more detailed uh, animation or texture or as you can call this like a displacement map and all but i prefer this one to 256 for initial stage so let's start with changing some settings from here so first of all this is called wind speed okay so if i really change the wind speed let me show you what exactly happened this is a wind speed so if you really change it it will change just like that but before changing anything from here i just have to animate this from time so this is on the 31st frame change it to like 120 frames and uh, after that just select a keyframe from here and go to something on our last frame so just make it to 120 and just change it to something 50 and make a next keyframe just like this now when we play this you can see this is start getting animating automatically so this is very nice and easy ease mode so just click right animation and you have to go to this show f curb where you can find this animation is already getting easy ease and easy out so just simply click this linear one and just close this so now when you play this this animation is almost kind of look like a loop okay so now let's change some settings from here so this is the ocean size i'm just decreasing it to 200 percent so if you notice this is getting more detailed texture here now talking about the wind speed i'm just making it to 20 back normal so let's play it once so let's see wow it's looking super amazing and after that let's change some wind direction so this is called wind direction if you notice that basically this is all about the wind direction so let's change it to 35 because as i told i already done this before so i know the exact values okay uh, after that we have uh, this amazing options called shortness web length approx web length height and all this is just a, like a detailed animation for creating that realistic ocean and uh, right after that you can find out this uh, the seeds one if you really want to change the seeds let's change it to 125 or something like that okay now talking about this uh, choppiness this is most important if you increase this you can find the areas are getting more sharp and all so i prefer this is approximately like 0.5 which is pretty nice or else you can change it to 0.8 yes this is also a look nice now after that leave all these two options and then you can find this ocean depth so let's change it to 350 so you can find out the bit depth will change inside of the animation so if you really change this see the animations are getting really really like high dense uh, like displacement and all so this is looks also a uh, pretty nice okay so here it is and now just change the resolution to bit high like 512 so if you notice this is right now too many high detailed and all 
Okay, so I'm done for now. Let's do some materials and let's render it out. Now for the rendering, I'm using Arnold here. So first of all, go to the settings and change from standard to Arnold Renderer. And after that, you have to get some settings from here. This is called Ambient Occlusion and then Global Illumination. These are the very two basic setups. And from the output, I'm just changing the resolution to something 19, uh, sorry, this is 1920. And by 1920, this is a very, very high densed um, one. So I really need this in very clear. Okay, so this is my very first, uh, like this, you can see this is like a window border. So go to this plugin. I have that automatic light kit from here. So I'm just importing my uh, base one. So let's import anyone from here. So let's see, this one is pretty nice. So just double click here. It will automatically import a very basic light setups and all. So if you notice, these are the, my light setups. And this is pretty nice. This is automated created. So these are the like spheres, which is I really don't import. Like just delete this sphere. I really need this uh, platonic one. So just move it to top like this so this is my scene okay this looks pretty nice now let's get to the camera here so this is my camera view and uh, just click here so okay this is my the final camera view now zoom in in and just make sure it should be on this fit to screen and all okay pretty nice and fit also now delete these two materials really don't need it now create one material for this one and just drag and drop here and double click and let's do some material stuffs just remove press this one and just increase the roughness a bit just like this check the colors and i'm just decreasing the color value to something like dark blue and all and this is pretty nice now go to this plugin and uh, this one and let's go to this ipr window so now you can exactly see this is rendering in live so this is the arnold render and i am right now in camera view so let's zoom in it a bit and move the camera to bit down yes that's it so if you notice this is looks super super nice so let's add some materials for the background plate also just drag and drop here and double click and go to the reflectant and just move to remove and after that press add and blackman this is also start getting reflecting i don't need any reflection so make it to roughness high and from the colors make it to complete white and just a bit blue so that you can find out this color combinations or else change it to let's see okay this one is fine okay right after that i just want to change some settings on this material which is our mesh material so go to reflection and i'm just increasing the specular to a bit high and roughness also a bit high now if you notice this one is right now looks a bit pretty nice just a bit down okay if you really change the colors of this layers so just make it to that's it okay now it's pretty pretty amazing okay if you really want to change some light setups on this is top softbox light reft and also just change from a right one this is all by default like white i just want to change it to blue so if you notice this is reflecting the blue color there's a left one and let's change the color to let's see something warm tone and all so yellow see this is start getting warmer tone or else you can change it to any other color like blue and all or else uh, like purple and these kind of things okay so this is the way you can exactly create or else these are the like light setups and also uh, this is the detailed way of explaining arnold renderer with some lighting setups and all and if you really need a detailed tutorial on arnold and lighting please do comment on our below comment section so that i can really create this kind of amazing renders and tutorials for you so after that when you're happy with your all the setups and all you can do a lot of stuffs with camera but i am just doing nothing here so just let's press the render button and it will start getting rendered in a full resolution so guys this is it for today i hope you really enjoyed this short sweet and simple tutorial from cinema 4d with the help of hot 4d effect and if you really enjoyed this tutorial then don't forget to share on your friend zone facebook whatsapp twitter anywhere and talking about the social media we are already inside of social media if you still not follow us on over there go and follow link is in description box below i will see you in my next video with some more amazing content still then have fun stay home don't go outside keep watching keep rocking the effects for you.